Have you ever seen a product so brilliantly simple it made you think, why did nobody make this before? This is the DACA Grid from Magpul. Hey, Moondog here. We are at SHOT Show 2023 at the Magpul booth, and we have Jonathan here with, with, with what I think is a game-changing product as far as storing and transporting your firearms. We have, what do we have here? So this is DACA Grid uh, organization system and the DACA hard case. <laughs> so I think as anyone that has a hard case knows that there isn't ever really a perfect solution for internal organization. Uh, we've all had experiences with pick and pluck and open cell foam. It captures dirt, grime, you know, all that kind of thing. It tears. To get it set up and customized, you're often cutting into it. And as soon as you change, you know, an accessory on your gun or you want to carry a different gun, you need a different piece of foam or you're cutting the foam up again. So we initially wanted to do a case design, but as we looked at the problem, we think that we thought that the uh, more interesting problem to solve is actually the internal organization. So the system we've uh, finally sort of uh, happened upon is this grid base. So it's interchangeable with these blocks. They're made out of EPP, which is the same material as your hard case. But this is a foam version, so it's kind of squishy. It's the same kind of thermal properties, chemical resistance, all that kind of thing. It's, it's non-absorbent, you can wash it out. So you got none of the issues that you have with open cell foam. The other good thing about this is, is you can take these blocks out and move them around anywhere you want in your case. So as you can see here, we've laid it out with just a, a very few blocks. We just wanted to have enough to brace the, the weapon from moving around. And it's braced on all the edges to, to keep it from hitting anything. But then the rest of the space inside the case is highly usable. So when we did this, we, you know, in the same way that you know, we create accessories for all the, these platforms, we wanted to do the same thing. So the, we dropped the system first into Pelican Vault and into the Pelican Protector Series and also the Plano cases. So that, that way people that already have cases they're perfectly happy with, they can now just drop the grid organizer system in and it's a massive upgrade for them in, in the layout and organization of their, their case. So we started off with um, you know, a very simple layout. We're going to have all of these additional block accessories like V-blocks that you can put cylindrical objects like barrels. Oh, nice. Or um, spear guns. We actually had people asking for very specific things for musical instruments already. We've been out a week and we've got all these questions. Then you can get another set of 12 of these uh, straight blocks with the triples and doubles. And then these angled blocks, you get two of these and two of these in a pack and then a left and a right hand side uh, angled block. So these allow you to get better fit all around the, the firearm or whatever accessory you want. So you can see here is the perfect place where you've got the magwell on the AR. And you can use one of these 60-40s, uh, sorry, 60-30 blocks to fill the space really nicely. So it's a very much kind of like a build your own adventure with all of these accessories. But you can have one system and just keep changing it out as, as you need to. So started with the grid and then we moved to the case. So the case got the same level of love and attention as the internals did. The thing that you'll notice the most in difference of our case, it's very slick, it's very clean, moving a lot of the catch points, but there's only two latches on this. The problem with a lot of cases out there is they'll have four latches on the front, two on the side, they flip over as you open them, you try to close the case, they get in the way, or they get ripped off because they very easily come off um, in transit. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I've had that happen. Then, you know, just say, for example, you're at the range, it's raining, it's mud everywhere, you're holding on to your gun, you're then trying to play and open the latches, so they're quite difficult to open. What we're gonna do is make it very simple to open and close. So with these guys, they've got a cam system that you can open and close with one hand. That is Oops. a really beefy so, latch. So that way, you know, it's quite easy to, to operate. We've also, with those, speaking of those other latch systems that we're talking about, you can open up all of those latches individually, and since the lock is in a different place, when you um, have those latches open, you can pry the case open and start to get at things. But the way this is designed, we have a pass-through on the base, on the lid, and then on the latch. So when there is a lock through there, you cannot actually open the, the, the latch. It prevents it from getting torn off. It prevents someone from getting into your case. It's far more secure. 
And then we have pass-throughs here where when you put the, the uh, lock on, you can put a zip tie pass-through or a Velcro one and it keeps your lock right in place. TSA loves collecting locks, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. And quite often they'll have like the little uh, metal part that surrounds, uh, sort of is there for security. It's really just an appearance because the way that those cases are designed, it actually creates a weak point. There's a little bit of metal, but it's connected to plastic at the end of the day. And it's very thin plastic, so that tears off very easily. So this solves a lot of those problems and provides a very simple way to get in and out. And the, uh, yeah. how are these replaceable in, in the case of the, of the TSA uh, situation where they do have to, to cut open uh, the lock for whatever reason? Uh, can, are they user replaceable? So you could probably replace some of the parts if you wanted to do that. We get to see that because it hasn't been released yet, but that, that's going to become a warranty question, I guess. Okay. But yeah, we support all of our products. I mean, I don't think anyone has ever had, you know, anything negative to say when they deal with our customer service thing. So, um, so what else can I tell you about this? Okay. One other thing we've done is we've got these bump zones here. Oh yeah, yeah. So when you look at traditional cases, there isn't anything like this. When there an impact occurs, it actually occurs on the corner of the case and it transfers all the energy into the side of the case wall and it actually cracks. Here with this, it deforms a little bit and flexes and the energy just sort of dissipates rather than transferring all the way into the case wall. So beside that, with the handles here, you got a pistol grip. The pistol grip sort of shape, so it's nice and comfortable and textured. We've got free rolling wheels with uh, captured bearings oh, nice. and enclosed bearings. Nice. So you don't get debris and dust and all of that getting in there. They also can be um, placed on any edge and they're nice and stable. So none of that embarrassing TSA line case drop, which I'm sure we've all experienced occurring. They also nest really nicely. Oh, that's a nice feature. And with a little sort of um, channel for you to put like a strap down. So this is going to come in three sizes. So we're going to have a carbine size, 35 inch. This is the rifle size case at 44 inches. And then a long rifle uh, case at 53 inches. Awesome. So all in all, it's a complete system for organizing all of your gear in a non-destructive and a highly configurable way. Nice. That is excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan, and I'm sure this is gonna sell like gangbusters this year. Yeah, he's hoping. Thank you. I think the Magpul grid could be a game changer, not just for firearms, but for photography, art, scientific instruments, anything fragile. I plan to review more DACA gear soon. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell button. It's absolutely free and you'll be the first to be notified when I post my newest videos and my other videos from SHOT Show. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and check out my other videos at moondogindustries.com. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, MeWe, Locals, and of course you could always subscribe or leave me a comment. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.